Pins, we bow out the FA Cup. What's your thoughts on the performance today? Yeah, it's disappointing. I think um, they had more fight, more hunger than us. Um, they showed the bits of the game that we don't have. Um, they were rolling around, winning fouls at the end, and we don't have that. Um, if we want to get further on in the in the competition and in the league, we're going to have to find that horrible side. As the captain, obviously, you know a lot of responsibility falls to you and the players, and the, the attitude of them as well. And you know, to lose to us, you know, this is going to be ultimately disappointing. But we need to bounce back and look to the league now. Yeah, definitely. I take full responsibility for my part in today. Um, I try and lead by example and lead off the pitch. I think bringing Waggy in is massive, and he's an, another senior player. I feel at the minute we're quite immature, so we need to to stick together um, and find some some resilience. But um, like all the boys are buying into what the gaffer and Tom want to do, and I, like I'm. Every day I want to be on that training pitch learning and I think we will turn a corner eventually, it's just it's just when. I'm sure you don't want to go through the game but we'll have to go through it. You know, the first half kicks off and we're the side that you know is putting the pressure on, looking for that first goal and it really is a sucker punch to concede the way we have last minute of the game, you know, penalty in the way we have. Yeah, it's the same as Stockport. I said I said in the before the free kick. Um, but just see yourself into the half time. Um, don't let it bounce. We let the ball bounce. Um, and they, they, they make a foul in the box and they give away a penalty. They get the momentum and then it's an uphill from there. We managed to get ourselves back in the game um, and then something that the gaffer's been massive on, our body shape, we get done um, and he runs through and, and he just it's an easy finish for him. I think that's the thing that's most frustrating, isn't it? You know, we've worked so hard throughout the game to bring it back in the second half and we found that goal through George as well, a bit of a deflection, but just eight minutes later they find that winner and ultimately it's you know just we struggle again. Yeah, I think the problem is we we said everything all week. The gaffer said it, Tom said it, the boys said it. They're, this is their cup final, and 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 they run more than us. And you can just see it the whole game. They're, they're just more clever than us, and it, it's so disappointing because I don't think I've had a good cup run since I've been here. Um, the only the thing is now we've got to concentrate on the league and get ourselves out of the situation that we find ourselves in. Um, I said to um, Rob up there, with I think that's 12 games where we haven't kept a clean sheet. Like that's that's horrendous. So us us as a team and a back four and the, and Mitch involved have to do better. It's all well and good me saying you know we look to the next game this that and the other, but for you ultimately, like you say, the cup final for them, three games for you now with the cup with the games in the FA Cup. You want to be progressing to these games because it means a lot for the fans and for us as a club as well. No, 100%. What, who doesn't want to go to a League One club like Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, Charlton, all, the, all them, Portsmouth, all them clubs. Um, it's financially brilliant for the club as well getting further on in the competition and it's financially rewarding for us players for the bonus and stuff. So for us to come up here, um, a team that's two or three leagues below us, and get beat the way we got beat, that is the most disappointing thing. And we can only apologise to the fans and we can only keep apologising to the fans because I know it's been, an, well, I've been apologising for nearly 18 months now so I, I hope you can, like, I don't know, uh, stick up for us and, and keep supporting us and hopefully we will turn a corner. Exactly. Like, you know, just a word on the fans today, a lot of them turned out today and what is a, you know, a bit of a club that maybe not too many have been to today? Yeah, like the fans are brilliant everywhere we go. And they, every time that we play an away game they, they always come in numbers which is brilliant and, and it's a letdown for them and we need to, we need to improve because of like special things like the tour of duty, like I can't this se obviously last season we didn't have it. This season it's like some of the players have, are yet to experience that and that's a, a fantastic day for the football club. So obviously we've got a home game and then um, we just need to, to get them fans back on side. Exactly. And we hope to do that next week at home to Bromley. You know it's gonna be difficult but we hope to pick ourselves up for that game. Yeah, Bromley another another test. Um, I don't think the I think the National League's probably the hardest it's been in a long, long time with the teams. Bromley have had a good go as well financially, so but we'll be working on Monday to, to put it right and another week working with the Gaffer and Tom and hopefully um, we'll, we'll put on a performance on Saturday. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe. Shot.